G'day and welcome to KC's TV. My name is Dave and joining me again is Aaron. Again! Um, we're doing yet another Helix video, uh, but we are doing what has actually been requested many times. I always get the question, what's better? What sounds better, the Helix or the Headrush? So Helix LT, 1495, Headrush at 1595, so only a hundred bucks between them. Um, both very popular, uh, dare I say, well, they are the two most popular choices um, in our store currently. So what's the deal, Aaron? What's the deal? What's up? What's up? Aaron's gonna remain blindfolded for the, um, for the rest of this video. And I have previously, I've spent a few hours setting up two identical rigs. So we've got Tube Screamer-ish pedal, going into a Marshall-ish head, into a quad box, and we've got reverb and delay. That's my potatoes and potatoes rig. Um, and Aaron's not gonna know which one I plug into first. Are you Aaron? Nah. Nah. No. <laughs> Come on, guess which one I just plugged into. I can't because I just heard a click somewhere in yeah. this vicinity. Nah. Take it. Wait, you want me to guess? Yeah, go on. Oh, I think you plugged into... Wait, I can't actually even remember which side the helix <laughs> or the head. This is why I use Aaron on. because he's got sort of... The brain of a goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We're going both into the dual inputs of the Headrush FR, FR112, or as I like to call it, the fur fur. I thought he'd laugh at that. Fur fur. <laughs> fur fur. I'm still thinking about my goldfish <laughs> call. I just paid myself out on camera. <coughs> yeah, no, you are a goldfish. This is why I choose you. Um, <laughs> all right, so first, just dry amp. Don't guess what that is. No, okay. Just sort of keep that in your head yeah. of guess how it sounded. Yeah. Yep. Okay, right. so saying just the amp. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Going back. I don't even know which side they're on, so it doesn't really matter. So uh, th this will be the third run, so we've had. All right, have you formed an opinion? I Did one of those sound better than the other to you? I, I feel like better's a, a hard it's word. It's a hard word, but try your best. Uh, for me, I, I liked the sound of the first one, or yep. that one that you just used. Yeah. I think to me, my ears, it was a little clearer. Okay. Now um, they've both got a bit of break up on there. Yeah, I can hear that. Um, but I, I felt like the second one was a little tiny bit more muddy. Okay. Maybe. I'm going to go in the same order and I'm going to give it a bit of rhythm. So I'm going to hit it a bit harder so it's going to break up a little bit more. So cool. this is back to the first one. So I, I still feel the same way. Yeah. I still I, I I still feel like the first one was a little bit cleaner sounding to okay. me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. A little bit nicer right. in the higher edge. It, like it, in it's the, all interesting. Yeah. I mean, we're, we're, 
we could always tweak it so I can put a bit more treble on the. Well, this is what I was going to say yeah. too. Like, obviously, yeah. Like, okay. Are they EQ'd differently or? Well, they're, they're, they're different units. So yes, they are EQ'd differently. And yeah. the, the goal was to just put together two similar rigs with the components that each yeah. unit offers. Yeah. I did a little bit of tweaking, but not too much. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I'm going to stick the reverb on, which is. Do 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 do. I believe it's that, or is that the? No, that's our delay. It's the delay. Okay, so. And just a subtle bit of delay on that. Mm. And they're both spring reverbs. Ooh. Now, I've got those settings pretty much the same on there, so obviously that unit's reverb is a bit more out there in the was, same sort of mix setting yeah i was gonna say like i thought that that one was i, I probably liked the reverb of, of what you just showed me yeah the second one was kind of a bit more lush to me I yeah kind of, yeah okay delay so going for an analog delay i think my choices were tape delays um without tape noise on it <laughs> The source. The source is... And like, they both sound wicked. Don't they? <laughs> this is like why it's hard. Do. This is why I brought you it's in, because... Like, there's no I... better or worse, like really. delay on that one you're liking that was, aren't you was, yeah was yeah. was was better <laughs> you're speechless yeah it was it was definitely audibly better okay to me so we're gonna take off the effects and go to back to just amp so reverb off echo off reverb echo so we're just back to our amp <laughs> Tube Screamer, our aforementioned Tube Screamer. Ignore that. I just turned the cab off. I did not mean to do that. Uh, I was going to say, it has a big difference. Yeah. Ah. Cab's back on. Okay, three. Yeah. I reckon the first one that time, the distortion was nicer. Yeah, okay. I just feel like it was, uh, I, I don't know, I feel like the, the guitar signal isn't as lost. Yeah. It's just really, really, really... More organic? More organic. Okay. So, 
We're just going to go for some lead sound, so I'm just going to kick on the tape. No, uh, reverb to start with. your rock star name from now on. Yeah, right. <laughs> saying they're both really nice but i think now i can tell the difference between yeah. the two i don't know which one it is but i know the one that i kind of prefer prefer a little bit yeah like well this is the last is, i don't know if you're like switching exactly yeah, yeah the same i am time or i like, am sometimes i'm not switching but i can hear it I now am. like i know i can hear the subtleties and the differences between the so, one that so this is the last test this is with reverb and echo on mm -hmm. so um, we'll play a bit dynamic Dynamically, dynamically as well. something similar to that. Are you baffled it. yet? Or as in as in like Okay, is well. that one or the other one? Oh, out of those two? Yeah. That was tough because yeah. like hearing them in their kind of element with everything, like it was like uh, to me, they're both 
really nice. I think the 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 that one that you just played with like had a bit of more of a warmer yeah. maybe sound yeah. to it. I would I would describe it as warmer. All the right. first one, yeah, just I don't know. Well, pop pop the blindfold off. Oh, oh, it's yeah. bright in here. So, for the most part, you were leaning towards the line six. Oh, cool. Okay. The last one was a head rush. Okay. I'm Interesting. After playing with it for a few hours, what I'm did you think? so torn. Yeah. Um, right. And other people have said it, and I tend to agree that I kind of like the amp sounds better on the, on the head rush. Mm. You clearly, I think, pick that you like the effects on that. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I, I suppose, like, for but you like the amp sound on that better. Yeah. Yeah. For me, it was just like um, now that I can see the two. For me, the head rush obviously was has like a bit more of a warmer tone yeah. to it. And that's I feel that's like, what I felt. Yeah. 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 I feel like the 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 signal on the line six was just cleaner. Yeah. You yeah. Know what yeah. I mean? Yep. Yeah. So. All right. So just to give a bit of um, fair comparison. What I have discovered, and or as always, correct me if I'm wrong, the Helix has much deeper editing patch by patch, component by component. You can do a hell of a lot more with each component in your chain. Um, it's not bad to get around fairly quick to set up. Um, one thing I do notice, I butterfingers um, keep knocking uh, the capacitance switches and losing things. It's another thing if you if you accidentally change your patch on there, you have to go back and reset your settings if you haven't saved it. Um, so for deep editing, yes. For more amps, more sounds, yes. For ease of use, winner. Um, for obvious reasons, we've got a touch screen. It looks great. It's you just chuck them in. I found that the sounds straight in there didn't need as much tweaking as the ah, as the okay. line six. Interesting. So. <laughs> I'm thinking, sound-wise, I'm going to give them both big ups. I, I like them both. Yeah. Um, I was really surprised when I was setting them up because I kept going backwards and forwards. I like this one better. I like this one better. Mm. I can't. I really can't make up my mind at this point. Yeah. Um, deep editing versus ease of use. I think this is going to appeal to people who are a little bit daunted by these sorts of things. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if you're considering that and you don't like fiddly menus and stuff like mm. that i think that's a winner for you um they're both rock solid um and here's the beauty of the game we've got a split decision can't yeah we? like if i, we, if I, I, I always end up with a split decisions it's good yeah anyway. I, I think there's something for everything and, yeah. and the point of these videos is um to give you the viewer a bit of information before you go out and lay your bucks down um yeah thanks for helping out aaron you're welcome mate Next video I'll do, um, I'll, we'll be just setting up those patches and I'm going to time that to show you how quick, how slow it is. But uh, as always, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe and all that jazz. I'm Dave. This is Aaron. Catch us later. Okay. <laughs>